Hello everyone, welcome back to Bloodborne! We just beat the Blood Starved Beast. Let's get to it. Okay, we I did a few laps around my apartment and now we are uh, checking out the area, making sure there's no shinies or anything. I think there actually is one behind here. Yep, look at that. An antidote. Oh, game. There's not a door? I, f I felt like there was a door around here. I must be mistaken. We will light the lamp and let's go level! Level time! I'm excited. Oh man, I'm so excited. The one time I've gone past this boss has been the one time I continued the game. He's just a nasty fella. Uh, 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 Let's, let's see if we can upgrade our weapon first. Can't, but let's repair it. And let's put some blood gems in there. Okay, so. Ooh. So this one goes. Let's boost up a little. Alright, so I think that's, that's the best stats we can get. Yep. We don't have this yet, right? Nope. Garam, you got something to say? The healing church and the blood ministers who belong to it were once guardians of the hunters in the times of the hunter Ludwig. They worked and forged weapons in their unique workshop. Today, most ministers don't recall the hunters, but they have much to offer you. And so, heed the message of your forebears. Ascend to Erden Chapel. Ascend from there. Okay, which is, uh, I think what we're in, but not the Hunter's Dream version of it. The actual, uh, the Hunt version of it, I guess. Oh, uh, let's go visit our little messenger buddies over here. Let's give them a bloody bandage. Oh, look how cute they are with their little bloody bandage. Adorable. Okay. Whew. Now let's level. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. Good for sale. Yarnum is what we're wearing, right? No, I don't think so. Check these guys out. Gas coin stuff. Oh, let's let's read items uh, since we'll start actually Well, I'm gonna do it now cuz I'm gonna forget I'll put a little marker here if you want to skip me reading through stuff uh, And get back to the action So for you guys that stuck around let's get a look at our inventory here Iosefka's blood vial we read that product of a slow and careful refinement process this rare blood 
vial appears to be the clinic original. Antidote. Small medical tablets that counteract poison. Use to treat ash and blood. The baffling sickness that ravaged old Yarnum long ago. Ash and blood. The Ashem set is what's from that guy, I recall. These tablets only provide short-term relief. The Ash and Blood ailment eventually triggered the spread of the Beastly Scourge. Okay. Beast Blood Pellet. Large medicinal pellets, supposedly formed of coagulated beast blood, banned in the Healing Church due to their unclear origin, grants a spurt of beasthood. Beasthood is one of the things I don't know, I think. It's similar to Frenzy in this game. Ripping apart the flesh of one's enemies and being rained upon by their splattering blood invigorates one's sense of beasthood, feeding strength and euphoric feeling alike. That was so hard for me to read. <laughs> Maltov. Explosion raging flames when thrown against an object, one of the oldest hunter tools available in the workshop. Since the tragedy that struck old Yarnum, fire has become a staple in beast hunts and is thought to cleanse impurity. Certain types of beasts have an abnormal fear of flame. Like the bloodstab beast. Oil urn. When this urn hits its mark, the target is drenched in oil and made extremely flammable. Fire is commonplace on the hunt, and oil urns accentuate its effect. Sometimes when hunters burn beasts, they appear intoxicated by the euphoria of the purification. Interesting. Pebble. Looks kind of like an eyeball. Small pebbles found throughout Yarnum can be thrown at foes. Quite thrilling. I actually looked up some trivia about this, and most pebbles are found on crows, apparently. And crows are notorious for picking eyeballs. So maybe there's some inspiration there. Why they look like eyeballs. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Maybe there's more to it. I don't know. Fire paper. Coarse paper that applies fire to weapons when rubbed. A hunter tool found in the Healing Church workshop. Since the tragedy that struck old yarn and fire has become a staple. Okay. Same thing as the uh, Maltavs. Bone marrow ash. Additional medium that strengthens quicksilver bullets. According to the workshop, this is a special bone marrow ash collected from Hemwick Charnel Lane. Hemwick. Is that the like... Oh, that's the wit the witch of Hamlet. Hemwick. That's a boss, I think. That's that like really uh rural area i think valuable to hunters when weak blood tinge who require the use of stronger firearms old hunter's mark dangling upside down rune etched in the mind of a hunter the image upon this parchment allows one to envision the rune with clarity allows a hunter to awaken again without losing blood echoes a trick that seems nearly too good to be true shining coins various coins that are particularly luminous there are very few uses for spare chains during the hunt, but these serve as guides through the darkness, or one could save them until morning if that ever comes. Monocular. Monocular used to view things up close. Not a hunter's tool, but a simple antique. To be used as one sees fit. Tiny music box. A small music box received from a young Yarnum girl. Plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the lid is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faintly. Viola and Gascoigne. Cold Blood Dew. Droplet of cold blood containing blood echoes. Uses to gain blood echoes. Hunters sustained by the dream gain strength from blood echoes. They imbibe the blood with thoughts of reverence. Indeed, gratitude for their victims. Ooh, thick cold blood. A strong will produces thick blood. Doubtless, the product of obsession, a potent source of the human strength. Madman's knowledge. Look at that art. That's so great. Skull of a madman touched by the wisdom of the great ones used to gain insight. Making contact with eldritch wisdom is a blessing, for even if it drives one mad, it allows one to serve a grander purpose for posterity. Beckoning Bell. Great old bell discovered in the underground labyrinth. Its ring resonates across worlds, and the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters from other worlds to cross the gap and cooperate. A human must use insight to ring this uncanny bell, but the benefits of cross-world cooperation are many. Silencing blank. Hunters are linked to the resonance of bells with special encoded hammer, right? This inaudible burst disrupts such resonance. Fire to end cooperation and prevent further cooperation. Firing does not disrupt the resonance of a sinister bell. I'm assuming that's an invasion. Hunters mark. Dangling upside down rune etched in one's mind, symbol of a hunter. By focusing one's thoughts on this rune, a hunter loses all blood echoes, but awakens afresh as if it were just a bad dream. Okay, so that's the equivalent of the dark sign. 
Notebook. Messengers are him inhabitants of the dream who revere the brave hunters. Use them to send messages to other worlds. Leave notes with messengers. Read the note left to messengers in the other worlds and write notes to reach out to the hunters across planes of existence. Okay. Bloodstone Shard. That's a pretty cool art too. I don't think I've ever actually looked at it. Solid shard that forms in cold blood. After death, a substance in the blood hardens, and that which does not crystallize is called bloodstone. At the workshop, these bloodstones are embedded in work weapons to fortify them. Ritual blood. Material used in the holy chalice ritual. One of the basic ingredients used to satiate the holy chalice is this incoagulable blood. When all is melted in blood, all is reborn. That's freaking cool. Okay, so maybe the blood in the beginning with the start of the hunt, I'm assuming that's what that was, uh, where the werewolf came out of the blood and we were infused with the blood. Um, Maybe that blood was ritual blood? I don't know. Maybe totally thinking outside the box here. Odin Tomb Key. Key to the gate that blocks the Tomb of Odin. Beyond the tomb, Odin Chapel can be found in the center of Cathedral Ward. Only today the church is abandoned, and some say that the residents of Odin have all gone mad. Blood Gem Workshop, a misplaced workshop tool from the Hunter's Dream. A hunter who retrieves this can fortify weapons by kneading blood tools into them. Kneading blood tools, kneading blood gems into them. Let's paint some imagery right there. Blood gems add properties to weapons when used to fortify them as blood defies an organism defines an organism. Blood defines an organism. Blood defines. So I'll hunter badge. Badge crafted long ago at the workshop. A test to one's prowess as a hunter of beasts. This workshop... The workshop is gone, and no group recognizes this meaningless badge except the messengers in the bath who understand its profundity. Certain things can only be entrusted with a hunter in possession of this badge, or so they believe. Sword Hunter Badge, one of the badges crafted by the Healing Church. The silver sword is a symbol of the Church Hunter. Ludwig, we heard about earlier, was the first of many Healing Church Hunters to come, many of whom were clerics. As it was, clerics transformed into the most hideous beast. Old Hunter Bell, one of the resonant bells that cross the gaps of worlds. This bell is cracked and stained with the blood of beast. Um, the old hunters who have long passed from the dream but cannot forget the feeling of the hunt rely upon messengers to relay their thoughts, ring the bell at their side, and they're certain to give a listen for the night of the hunt is long and unchanging. Okay, so that's interesting. So these are hunters who either succe succeeded, I'm assuming, to escape the hunt, and it, the festering thought of the hunt in the back of their mind is what brings them through with this. That's kind of cool. So maybe... The deal, I'm assuming the DLC deals with that. Uh, I'm excited. Bloody Messenger Head Bandage. Accessory adorned by Native Messenger. Oh, look at him. Look at that little scamp. Accessory adorned by Naive Messengers imitating the bandage of Scourge Victim, unaware of their meaning. The splatters of bud give it a particularly nice touch. The inhabitants of the stump appear to have an interest in adornment. Why not let them be happy and revel as babes? One of the trick weapons of the workshop. Okay, the saw effective at drawing the blood of beast transforms in a long cleaver that makes use of the centrifugal force. The saw, with its set of blood-letting teeth, has become a symbol of the hunt and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transformed the beast. Okay, and that's pretty similar. Hunter pistol. Pistol made at the workshop. Hunter firearms are specifically craft crafted to employ the Quicksilver bullets fused with the wielder's own blood, boosting damage against beasts. The pistol is a quicker draw than the blunderbuss, allowing for speedier responses to attacks. Flame Sprayer, a special weapon used by certain members of the Healing Church, spits searing flames used by blood-imbued Quicksilver bullets as a special medium. Oh, so it does still use Quicksilver bullets. Cool. Not the most effective weapon at any stretch, but sometimes a sea of flame is just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Besides, the Beast of Yarnum can always use a good cleansing. I like the, uh, his little cheeky there. A torch formed by wrapping a pine resin drench cloth. I, anytime I see resin now, I think gold pine resin. And, uh, electrical damage on your weapon. <laughs> Around the end of a long stick. Once used in old Yarnum. Designed to incinerate beasts and victims touched by the scourge, the, its fire damage is highly effective against beasts. 
and wooden shield, a crude wooden shield used by the masses who have arisen to join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields, ineffectual, ineffectual against the strength of the beasts as they tend to be. Shields are nice, but not if they endanger, engender passivity? I... not familiar. Hunter hat! A fine piece of hunter attire that provides stable defense to anyone facing around his beast threat. Recognizable by its withered feathers, this cap is fashioned after one of the old hunters. One of the standard articles of hunter attire fashioned at the workshop, accompanied with a short cape to wipe away the blood. Oh, huh, pleasant. A fine piece of hunter attire that provides stable defense to anyone facing Yarnum's beast. Yarnum's beastly threat allows one to stalk beasts unannounced by cover of night. Ooh. Top hat. Top hat worn by hunters who admire formality. Some hunters place an emphasis on form as seen by the use of the threaded cane. For them, formality, beauty, and justice are the very essence of our humanity and precisely what keeps hunters from becoming something else. Black hood. Hood worn upon awakening in the nightmare of blood and beast. Okay, so we're in, we're in the nightmare, the nightmare of blood and beast. Perhaps it's where I had to stay out of sight and travel by cover of darkness without memory. Who ever know? Bandage worn upon awakening in the nightmare of blood and beast. Terribly worn on sanitary. A faint memory recalls blood ministration involving the transfusion of unknown blood. Not long after the nightmare began. Okay. So that blood transfusion was what began the hunt? We were, cause we were pale blood, which meant we were like un, un, uh, untainted, I guess. Tempering blood gem. A blood gem that fortifies weapons that adds various properties. Blood gems are especially rare bloodstones that grow on cold blood. Blood gems are kneaded into weapons, but using workshop tools only when matching shape. Most radial blood gems have effects that bear upon physical attacks. Circular blood gems are normally used to fortify firearms. Okay, good to know. We don't have any runes yet. And the Tumeru chalice? Ritual chalice found in the Church of the Good Chalice. Use in a ritual at the tomb altar in Hunter's Dream to break the seal of an underground labyrinth. Let the chalice reveal the tomb of the gods. Let blood be a hunter's nourishment. And let ye partake in communion. <laughs> I love the wording on that. Okay. Uh so let's let's go fight some stuff. I need I'm I'm itching. I'm itching for a fight now. Ah ha. Ah. This is open. We found a solution. I had a feeling that was there, and I totally just forgot about it. All right, let's open this chest. Da -da -da -da. Communion. Oh, I think that's a rune we can equip. Oh, actually, I don't know if we're allowed to equip that yet. We're in new territory, man. I'm excited. I don't really remember this as much. Yeah, I. It's my memory immediately drips off after uh, blood starved. Because I could just, I could just never beat him. I was not good. <laughs> was not good at the bloodborne. Where are you going? Oh no. I'm just noticing all the uh, cleavers hanging. That's 
That's pretty creepy. Glad he did not unload on me. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? Ah, that was dumb. That was dumb of me. I call shenanigans on that desk. Shenanigans to the highest degree. I got went like Muppet sounding there for a second. I, uh, I don't know why I was thinking of this earlier today, but just doing, like, having, like, a pretend second person with you for, like, a solo person stream. Like, hey, everybody, it's Miles McGee. Hey, everybody. And just doing that for the entire, never once admit that it's just yourself. An entire Let's Play channel. I think it would be great. I think it would work out swimmingly. I don't know how you got my souls, but whatever. Got the souls back. Alright, let's see if Scritchy's back. He is. Yes! Oh, and they're a twin! Nice, we can upgrade. Actually, I think we need three, so maybe we only have two now. I can do math. Man, they do a lot of damage. We almost just fell off the ledge. I think back there is a secret area, but I kind of want to go to the top of this because I don't think we can go in it yet. So I'm going to kind of just play that as... Hey, let's keep going up. So... We don't miss anything. Okay, come on. Yeah. Who's the big man now? You, still, because you're huge. I mean, look at you. They both drop stuff. I was wrong. Okay, no more way to go up in here, but I think. Okay, I was wrong. Let me just double check. Let me just go all the way around just in case.
thick cold blood. Okay. I saw some uh, Gatling gun guys. Crazy man. Old guys are freaking crazy, man. <laughs> Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Shiny Radiant Sword Hunter Badge. Awesome. And I'm pretty sure Gut's gonna say a lot. It's like I knew. It's like I knew, guys. Alright, so now let's drop down. remember where it is but I know if you fall down one of these paths it will take you to the workshop which one it is though I have not a clue so we're just gonna kind of gonna go down step by step Part of me thinks this lit up area is the drop. Yeah, we'll have to come back for that, that boy. the fall right there. That's the one you need. Do you think we can make it? <laughs> Not a chance. this. Oh, 
Oh jeez, come on, dude. Spam enough bullets to get the job done. I got the job done, though. Can't fault me for that. Oh, it's a tiny door. Oh, we got some people. Sure, whatever you say. I do not remember this at all. Okay. Thank you for the message. I'd say that was a good Molotov. <laughs> oh, what? <gasps> the Snatchers. I do not want to deal with these guys right now. Whew. Nice. That's a thousand souls, man. I'm glad he uh, gave himself away like that. I would not. I probably would have just kept walking forward like a chump. Like a chump, hey? Eh? Like a chump, hey? Eh? Okay. Why do I not remember this place? Hey, dog. I'm glad I saw you before you saw me. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna check that in a sec. Hopefully that's not a shortcut. Okay, I see some crows. Is that all? Is that all we got here? Do not peck me. Do you know who I am? Clearly, he did not. Oh, hey. Totally didn't even notice this alleyway. totally looped around. Okay, so there is a shortcut thing there. I'm assuming this is a little side area that maybe I just missed or something. Ooh, that guy was twitchy for a second. Maybe it was just a bug. Oh, no, he's definitely twitchy. Oh, is he one of the freaking... He totally is.
No, 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 no. Yep, that's that's instant death right there. Oh, no, it's not. I thought that was. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Are you kidding? Wow, how about F this guy? Holy crap, I can't believe I survived that. I really didn't want to use that last Molotov, but jeez. Yeah, okay. That was the guy I thought he was. No? No door? Nothing? Just a... Just a hey. Heads up. These guys are in your future. That's, that's kind of cool. At this early on, they kind of tease those guys. Maybe? Maybe it's already that far in the game? I don't know. I don't remember those guys showing up till way later. That little magic stuff. No one's done magic yet. Aha! I thought this was the case. Oh, you can't attack twice. You're not allowed to do that. You are not allowed to do that, mister. Um, okay, maybe Elaine's here now. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Would you repeat? Maybe she moved. That is a uh, DLC DLC thing that happens. So maybe she moved. We'll have to keep an eye out. Let me know if she moved. I don't know why, but I distinctly remember this green tile. <laughs> Maybe just because of how, like, out of place it is. The green tile has forsaken you. Oh, man, we're almost at, uh, 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 uh I don't remember her name. The scary one. <laughs> Uh, can we jump off this? Yes, we can. Hmm. Black messenger hat. Speaking of which, we need to put on that top hat at some point. At some point. This isn't the way to Iosefka's, is it? No, I think I'm just mistaken. This is just like a little shortcut or something. <laughs> Ever, I feel like any time there's the potential to drop down, it's like, okay, did I screw this up? And how did I screw this up? I remember there's a guy with a scythe right up there.
There's the gate. We need to get that open. Okay, here we go. That was bad. Friend. He's not an old friend. There's dogs down here. Hey dogs. Dogs come on. Oh. Don't be dumb. Go upstairs. Yeah, that's a good doggy. That's a good doggy. That's right. Come to Papa. Come to Jingle. Come to Lady Jingle. Learn the air of your ways. Get some of that thick cold blood. I recall there being two donks here, but hmm. sec. Going up the ladder. I'm getting nervous again. <laughs> A watchman of Birkenworth dodge the game. <laughs> I almost forgot the name. Gate with a password, a sacred dash of the Grand Cathedral. Do we get the password? Or is that signifying us getting the password? I'm not sure. No, we don't recall. Not very good. I just remembered this area. <laughs> I think there's also two NPCs for us to befriend in here. We're dead. As soon as I went down that ladder, I knew. I knew. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I've figured out where to go. <laughs> that was a lot of souls. This way. <gasps> My lady. Oh, hello there. Perfect timing. I must warn you not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Henrik, an old hunter, has gone mad. And he's my mark. Don't go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral. I have business. <laughs> okay. So that's setting up for her quest. She's gonna... She hunts. A hunter must hunt. And she just happens to hunt hunters who have lost their way. That's why I love her so much. Because she's just the best. The best, Jerry! The best! Oh, hey! Ooh. Again.
So you may recall um, seeing this lantern guy before. Uh, not this specific one, but the ones holding the lanterns. And, it, and uh, the lantern was not lit up. Um, there's actually, that was so dumb. I got distracted. Anyways, there's things that change in the game when you get more insight. Um, some of them happen permanently at like specific moments in the story. Uh, some of them happen if you just require the threshold of insight. Um, which is usually like, now they can cast magic because I'm aware of like, I, the way I take it is my character's aware that magic exists. So he's all like... Those were the first souls I lost. We gotta make him up now. I can't believe that died to that guy. A chump. It's all right. Gotta gotta get those lost souls out of the way once in a while, you know. Oh, wow! That was almost uh, some more death right there. Jeez. It always goes to show you, too, uh, with these games, you can never take any enemy for granted because they will take advantage of that in a heartbeat. Give me files. Oh, I didn't 
know that was an attack. A little dicey. Little dicey. So one plus side, uh, to fight in like certain enemies, I know I can expend some blood vials if need be because they'll drop some almost guaranteed every time. So you kind of learn what enemies, like, if there is a time to be reckless or where you can stock up, you, you start to learn pretty quickly. Oh, I think there's one of those madman guys over here. Our friend who was shooting stuff at us. Yeah, he's right there. Man, they are freaking nasty. Whew. Gotta be like so on guard for those guys. Hey, we have enough to upgrade our thing for sure now. Alfred shows up here later. I think this is, uh, this is to the place where I need the password. Yeah. Definitely. The password. I've never listened to this before. Okay. We do not have the password. I think maybe that's what Vicar Amelia we fight. Is that how we get that? Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Could you repeat the question? I already made that joke this episode. Scratch the whole episode! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I was thinking it was. Okay. Definitely... We definitely got two NPCs coming up. To deal with. Oh, let's pull this so we can... Save ourselves, save ourselves some headache. You have a flame thing, don't you? Yes, you do. Holy crap. <laughs> I 
as I say, do you have a flame thing as I stand next to him stuck in a spot? Did not bode well for me. No babies! There's no babies in Dark Souls. Actually, there are babies in Dark Souls, oddly enough. Come on, go for me. I just wanted the satisfaction. Didn't mean to view that specter. Hmm. Things are getting dicey. Might. I don't remember. I don't remember, guys. Just blood and beasts any day. What is it then? I'm off during hunts, and besides, this is no place. Oh, oh, oh. Was this an escort, perhaps? Wouldn't want to drag you down, too. Aw. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> you made it sad. Oh, thank goodness. You're a hunter, aren't you, dear? Might you know of a safe place? Oh, this is one of the, okay. I can't remember her name. It's like Lady something. Jingle? Please, there must be some nice place to run off to. Okay. Oh, thank you, dear. Perhaps I'll see. Okay, so. You. You're not from around here, are you? Well, an outsider who's come to join the hunt. What a pathetic idea. You what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I think you're a beast. <laughs> and step away from my castle. Oh, enough of you. What, you think this is funny? Well, I've certainly done, so be gone with you. I'll have nothing to do with your beast stunts. Well, what's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. Now, why? Well, her sort's probably just fixing to feed some of your coin. <laughs> uh, all right. What crafty lies does the outsider have today? <laughs> I love this guy. You think I'm an easy mark? Yeah? Well, give me your best shot. You're like, yeah, I knew you'd back off. Yeah, an outsider you may be, but at least you know when you're bested. <laughs> okay. Um, I recall you have to tell him to go to an opposite place, but we did not talk to Ayasefka um, enough for her to say, send people here. Or if we did... Jeez. Oh, so, we'll have to do that before we tell him where to go. I recall doing that.
do for us the deepest, widest gratitude. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's uh, something promiscuous going on in there. <laughs> Praise you. Praise the old damn church. And then uh, best of luck, Hudson. Best luck of all. Praise <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure I'm aware of my surroundings. Come on. Such as you. Remember when you guys killed me and took my souls? I mean, blood. Jerks. Yeah, that did suck that we lost some souls there. Blood. Echoes. I'm so used to saying souls, sorry. And we'll try to correct that habit. Do we not even need to go down here? We totally did not. Fantastic. Okay, so... If that's the case, uh, let's go back to Iosefka's clinic. And then tell that guy to go there. Okay. We are back here. Oh, well, hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Yusefka's? I always thought it was Iosefka. If they are yet human, I will look after them. Yusefka? Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. You can just barely see her. Okay, yeah, you can just barely see her. <laughs> okay, so now we have done that. Um... Since we're here, I'm going to go check on the young girl real quick. We'll flash forward to that. Okay. So we come back here. No response. So. You gotta find out what happened to her, guys. I 
think this guy's dialogue might have changed. No. That was wrong. Okay, we're gonna run ahead to the pig. Our old dear friend, Mr. Piggy. And now you get to see this. Red Messenger Ribbon. I'm just going to look at that real quick for you guys. The thick, pungent red was drawn from the organs of some unfortunate victim. A strange choice indeed, but perhaps the messengers wearing this accessory constitutes a form of mourning. So, um, at the moment, we don't know anything about that. So, we just happen to find, you know, a bloody ribbon. What else is new? Oh, he's right there. Okay. I think we just need to fight him now. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm going to do my best. So, here we go. Ah! Holy crap. He just shot me to death. I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Because we have another shot now. Excellent! We did it! That wasn't necessary of you, but you have my thanks. We made it with our lives. You're not bad at all. You must have killed Gascon as well then. Gascon? Okay. He was falling apart, I'm sure it had to be done. But try to keep your hands clean. A hunter should hunt beasts. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. <laughs> yes. Try to keep your hand leave the hunt. <laughs> Excellent. We helped our friend. Okay. Now, <laughs> um, we, we're gonna go talk to those people up there. We'll get, tell, actually, we'll tell the guy to go back, and then we'll end the episode talking to those people. Okay, so we tell him of I Yosefka's clinic, as I think what it was. Yeah, sorry, too sharp for that bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. What? 
Still, yeah, fine. Come on, show me what you can. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Ah, sorry. Okay. So. We... What are we doing? <laughs> We're gonna go talk to people. Um... And that'll be it for this episode. Let's kill this guy. For giggles. Roll time save. Hey! Talking to you. Three blood vials. Always a good decision. I guarantee it. I was a uh, gentleman guy. Okay, let's let's talk. Oh, hello, dear. You weren't lying. This is a safe place. Thank you. I am in your debt. I'd like to tender my thanks, but I can't imagine what to offer. All I can give is my blood. But would you even take a whore's blood? Oh, good. Come close, dear. Don't worry, I've done this before. <laughs> Blood of Ariana. Such a weird, like, oh, hello. intimate vibe you Sorry, get from dear. it. You're much too e. I'm only so much. Yeah. It's interesting. Oh, kind hunter. Thank you. So, that lady, you told her about this place. Well, she... She actually talks to me. Well, only now and then. And she don't mince words, but she's a kind one. I can tell. A good woman. <laughs> if you find any, send them a lot, no. <laughs> All right. And then we'll come right back just to show you our new other friend who joined us. There he is. The man of the hour. Ah, you. The swindling off-comer. Did you really think that'd work? There's no fool in me. Now, off with you. You heard me. Go away. I can't stand the stench of your lying breath. <laughs> I'll spare you one nugget of advice. Beware the blind man. They're the beggar sits at the bottom of the bloody food chain. And then he's here acting like he owns the place. He's not to be trusted. What's he want with all those people anyway? That little weasel has a murky past, I'm telling you. Oh. Give it a rest, please. I've no time for your petty lies. And what? Just go away now. I can't stand this. <laughs> I think, uh... What? I think he gives you opposite information. Yeah, she still hates us. All right, with that, thank you everyone for watching. We'll see you next time here on Extra Play.